Welcome back to the island life of us. Today we are taking you free diving in some incredible caves. The kids take their very first dip with a mask and snorkel, but stick around because there's some very big news and sudden changes coming for us.
Larger than the sky, higher than fever. Since we went diving some beautiful caves down the other end of the lagoon uh, a little while ago now, yeah. a few months ago. It's been craving swim trees. Yeah, we wanted to get out and um, free dive somewhere a little bit different to home. And we've got these beautiful caves quite close to Upi, but about half an hour drive. Yeah, it's just been inaccessible though. The weather's just been off and we haven't been able to get down here and dive it comfortably. Yeah. Free dive it, we mean. Um, but anyway, it's been for an awesome dive. We've yeah. had so much fun just floating around for a couple bit of, of hours. It was a bit of a spontaneous trip this afternoon. We just kind of decided the best to do it. Yeah. And it was beautiful. We just wanted to take a moment to catch everyone up and let you know what's sort of happening. We've just had a pretty incredible period uh, with the resort open again for a little while, which was really, really good. It was refreshing to have some other faces back in the resort. It was beautiful to see some more of our staff members who we haven't seen in a while. And yeah, I just think having more people out and about. We just saw heaps of stuff and there was just everyone out there enjoying the environment again. It was just yeah, um, it encouraged it was refreshing. Us, yeah, it really got us back into diving, having other people diving and I guess having the compressor running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we had some great dives, saw heaps of stuff. If you haven't checked those out the last few weeks, there's some really cool diving content out. Also, I think it's been a while since we've kind of shared how we're actually doing at the moment how we're coping with the situation we've been um, we've been sharing some really positive videos which is which is amazing we are really positive at the moment but there's also the things going on in the background for us are a little bit stressful and have been a bit of an emotional drain at the moment with COVID going absolutely crazy in Australia it really does affect us in how we can plan moving forward not only as a tourist um, operator here in the Solomons but as a family trying trying to get back and see our family in Australia meet our nephew see my mum yeah. we still haven't been able to do those things we've gone through the arduous process again of getting all the different approvals that we need um, lined up so that if we can go we can go um, so we've tentatively booked for next month and we're just waiting to see what really unravels in Australia because there's just so much uncertainty there we're not wanting to sort of go back into the middle of a, a full-blown outbreak um, and I guess oh, for me I feel like it's just hard to stop and think about it for too long because it's it's just beyond ridiculous and I know so many people must be feeling the same way and we're lucky in that we can go okay switch off don't think about that stuff let's just Doesn't go for a dive this, yeah. and yeah aside from being you know incredibly desperate to see our family back in Australia and very, get very very lucky yeah and get all of our health checks and stuff done we are so lucky to be here doing what we're doing and we're really really grateful for that whatever your situation is we we really hope that you're doing okay and um we really want you guys to know if you are struggling back home um that we're we're just a message away you can reach out to us if you need someone to talk to and you are all a big motivator for us to keep making these videos and exploring the beautiful world that we have around us here during isolation on a beautiful tropical island. Um, knowing that you guys are at home watching these videos is encouraging us to keep making them. So I hope we can give you guys some inspiration for the beautiful world that is waiting for you when all things settle down. So we have been actually just really focusing on what we can control here at the moment where going pretty hard on the house there'll be another house build up coming yeah. up soon we haven't shared much on the house recently because we actually had a bit of a break on the build while we had guests in the resort yeah, because we couldn't make noise and we're full steam ahead with that now we've been yeah. concentrating on being in the water being with the kids and yeah just concentrating on life so and we're ready to jump on a plane as, as soon, soon as, as it becomes can. possible and yeah Who said that? Who told you that? Otto. Otto? 
Yeah. How did he know? Because he saw it. Oh. Who do you think got you a present? Santa. Why do you think Santa got you a present? It's, not, it's late for Christmas time. It's not Christmas. Let's go have a look. Growing up on a very remote tropical island means that from a young age, our kids are learning that things and gifts don't come easily. We can't make a quick trip to a shopping centre to buy what we want or what we need. We have to think ahead and plan for delays. Santa had some trouble delivering Christmas gifts on time this year, but honestly, the kids didn't mind and we've had plenty of wonderful gifts to enjoy in the meantime. Such kind, lovely children you are. Enjoy your new mask and snow. <gasps> well done oh. for waiting so patiently. My elves have been so busy. Keep up the kind and happy vibes. Love Santa. Whoa, what oh, is it? Billy, it's a little table. <laughs> What's Arlo got? Is that a turtle? Look! Look! Oh, Arlo, yours is like a little fish! Ah, it's like a shark! Wow! Fins! Oh. Arlo, look! <gasps> anything else? Whoa! Whoa. Snorkel! Oh, anything else? Go all the way down there! Look, and you've got your very own fins! Arlo and Ophelia are both only just swimming, but we will waste no time in getting them into these masks for a clearer vision of what's below the surface. This feels like a huge step towards our kids being able to share our passion for the ocean on a deeper level. It's really exciting to think about the adventures we're going to have together along our beautiful coral reef. This feeling really translates to any passion you might be eager to share with your kids. Tell us in the comments below how have you or plan to use adventure to connect more as a family.
so we're sitting down because there's another PM announcement um, in a moment. There was one yesterday that was about um, some positive cases in a very, very remote atoll called yeah. Ontong Java, which is quite isolated and very far from very far from the rest of the Solomon Islands, really. But community spread from a case that um, came across the border from PNG. So yet to know whether uh, what variant it is, whether it's Delta or Omicron, um, but there's six positive cases there. And we've just heard that the PM's gonna be making another announcement this morning, so. Not surprising considering it's the first in-country cases we've had, but still disconcerting, because hopefully it's nowhere else. Hopefully it's been controlled and contained in that area. <clears throat> Australia's a mess at the moment Australia's well. a mess. So we were planning on delaying by a couple of weeks so that the peak of cases in Australia would kind of ease off a little bit so that we weren't flying back into like a total COVID storm. Um, but now with the possibility of there being community transmission of COVID here, then we have a very difficult decision to make as to whether we wait and then potentially get caught out here having to completely isolate and lock down for a long period of time or if we try and just get out now while we can still get out <laughs> we're pretty confused we had a family meeting yesterday um, with Jill and Grant talking about how we would handle things and um, it's looking like Jill and Grant will stay here um, for us it's just the kids <clears throat> having access to to care for the kids um, COVID's a reality of life now but we just want to make sure we've got the best options available to them um, but in saying that you know arriving back into Australia in the middle of a full-blown outbreak is not also the, the smartest thing so we'll see see what this announcement says I don't know that that's what they're gonna want to do mm. okay mm -mm. I've just been scrambling to sort out a few last minute details. 